welcome to nav classes if you are new to my channel or viewing my videos for the first time then please do subscribe today we are discussing two type of di tricks and must watch this video till end to get the trick to remember the first one is based on bar diagram so here is the production given and crops are given over here so question number 62 says in the case of which crop the production increases by more than 10 lakh million any year so let we see the question is asking for the increase of the crop by 10 lakh if we see without calculating then we can say that in this there is the lesser gap and 41 minus 52 means 52 minus 41 is around 10 if we subtract it then we will get 10.8 so it is in case of rice if we want to analyze more then we can say that there is small amount of change then 21 to 34 it is again small amount of change so here is the answer rice we got here but in other cases as well if you want to see you can see that there is the change of 3 to 4 maximum changes for uh, see you can see here 5 6 so the change more than 10 lakh is in case of rice so we can correctly say that the rice is answer c is answer here 10.8 lakh tons Now question number sixty-three. In which year the production of rice and wheat together was least? So the question is asking about together. What is the meaning of together? Together means we have to add them. So we have to add rice with wheat. So we have to analyze for all years. So let me see for nineteen seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight. So if we plus Forty-four plus twenty-one point eight, we will get sixty-five point eight. So in this manner, you will do for all. <coughs> After doing so, we got the answer here. The question is asking about the least one. So if we see sixty-three point seven is least in case of nineteen seventy-seven. So this is your answer, nineteen seventy-seven. So let me correct C part here, C option. Then question number sixty-four says. In the case of which crop the production is having ups and down every alternative years, so the question is really very simple. Question is asking about uh, ups and down. If we see rice, it is decreasing. It's decreasing from forty four to thirty nine. Then again increasing. Then decreasing again, increasing and then decreasing. Then it is the fo it is following the pattern of ups and down. So rice should be the answer. Let me see other ones. It's increasing, increasing, increasing. and means this is not following the pattern of ups and down if it is decreasing and again increasing yes decreasing again increasing but here it uh, laps its pattern that it's again increasing after increasing once so it is not following the pattern again here you can see it is increasing so this is not following ups and down it is also increasing so it is not following the pattern of ups and down so the answer should be rice a answer In the case of which crop does the production in 1981 shows highest increase over that of 1976? Question is asking about the change uh, that to highest increase over that of 1976. Question uh, uh, people ask how to take highest means what to take in case of denominator. if we were cal calculating for the highest one the, we are going to calculate for wheat so it is saying that 52.1 minus 44 so what should we write down in case of denominator 52.1 or 44 so here we can analyze in question as well that question is asking about the highest increase over that in 1976 this is really very big problem if you take anything wrong in the denominator then your answer will come wrong okay so answer should be what the question is asking for in respect of question is asking in related to 
1976 question is clearly saying that highest increase over that in 1976 question is asking for in respect of 1976 so we should keep 1976 figure in denominator that is 44 one not 19 uh, 81's figure okay so we should keep figure which is uh, which is in respect of 1976 because question is asking about over that in 1976 hopefully this problem is cleared now let me write down 44 over here in denominator then we will solve it then we will get the answer we will do for all these things so there is no need to calculate for rise and the, yes there was no need to calculate about pulses as well so we got the answer because these options are not given so wheat is 69.72 other cereals is 4.86 potato is 112.5 percent so there is no need to calculate for pulses so as per our calculation we got our answer that is potato 112.5 percent it is the highest one so we got the answer c here so it was the case of highest so that is why we calculated in respect of 1976 now next question is based on cha uh, pie chart this is based on pie chart and this is the question of miscellaneous is not given over here so that is why it is the question of missing di so question is asking what what is the uh, central angle showing that cost of paper so if we see where is the paper paper is here 16% percent. 16% percent, these uh, figures are given in terms of percentage and we know they are asking about the degree so we know that in percentage there are 100 percentage and we are going to calculate for 360 degree because in case of pie chart total degrees are 360 degrees so if we calculate it by cancelling zeros and multiplying them then we will be able to get the answer in case of uh, degree if we want to multiply it in easier manner in tricky way then the way is you just multiply 36 with 10 first and then multiply 36 with 6 then add them you will get your answer it is easiest way if we multiply by 10 we will get 360 multiply this with 6 36 multiply by 6 66 36 36 then 63 the 18 plus 3 21 then add them you will get your answer easily there is no need to go in longer calculation so there is 10 in denominator so let me point out here so our answer is 57.6 degree let me see another question it is of the cost of printing is if the cost of printing is given as 23400 the royalty is they are asking about the royalty let me see Uh, in case of royalty the percentage is what is the percentage it is for it is 36 then it is in case of uh, royalty it is 10 okay so if they are given in case of printing it is 36 percentage and we are going to calculate for the royalty that is 10 percentage if 23400 is 36% then what is 10% of 20 uh, of what is the 10% for royalty this is the case how we calculate in shortcut method but let me see the long method it is asking about 20 uh, 3400 is 36% then what is total percent total percent is 100 so in this manner we will be able to get the total figure and then with answer we are going to calculate 10 percentage for royalty so this is the case how we do but in exams there is no need to uh, devote your time and waste your time you can straight away write that the person the amount for printing then means it is 36 percent then what is 10 percent then 10 percent will be your answer divide by 36 for printing and then you are going to calculate for the 10 percent that is royalty so you will get 6500 so your answer is a
6500 i hope that you get the idea now let's see 41 question if the miscellaneous expenditure amount to miscellaneous expenditure they gave 18000 the expenditure on canvassing will be then they are asking about the expenditure of canvassing so what is 18000 18000 is missing here so let me calculate that thing that uh, miscellaneous is contributing how much percentage in the total area so we if we add 12 plus 36 plus 16 plus 18 plus 10 then we got 92 percent then remaining will be the miscellaneous we know in percentage total percent are 10 100 so if we subtract 100 from uh, if we subtract 100 and 92 we got 8% so that means 18000 it's 8% and we are going to calculate for convasing uh, convasing convasing is given here 18% so that is why we multiply to calculate 18% so here we will get our answer by solving it then our answer is 40500 let me write it down so that is why we multiplied uh, 18000 with 8 why because it is 8% if we want to calculate for 18% then we will multiply it by 8 18 question is asking about the royalty on the book is less than convasing expenditure by question is asking about less than in previous question we were calculating for more than now this time this question is asking about less than then if we go by our rule that in respect of which in respect of convasing expenditure question is asking about in respect of convasing ex expenditure so that is why we have to keep that part that uh, convasing expenditure in denominator so let us see royalty is 10% and convasing is 18% so 18 minus 10 it is difference so we we are not going to bother about the minus sign here and divide it by 18 why divided by 18 because question was asking about in respect of than conversing expenditure that is why 18 if we divide it now 18 div uh, 18 sorry 800 divided by 18 then we got 72 in table of 4 again we got 72 for 4 so now we got 70 uh, 44 8 by 18 if we cancel this we will get 4 upon 9 so we got the answer here that is c 44 4 by 9 here we got the idea why we keep 18 in denominator because the question was asking about in respect of it means less than conversing expenditure that is why we kept 18 in denominator this is the problem uh, which most of students are facing nowadays that what should we keep in denominator whether 18 or 10 let us take the trick of the day so here we got the trick of the day that is in question if the question is asking about less than if the question is about less than then what should be your denominator you are going to subtract these two values but in Uh, denominator you just got confused that what should we write in case of less than then you will keep more one it means bigger value in denominator this is really very nice trick to remember if there are two values suppose a 20 and 18 then in case of less than you will keep 20 because it is more uh, it is the value of uh, which is larger it is the value which is larger in case of highest than then what should you do you will keep the value which is lesser in denominator you keep smaller value small one that is 18 if we see from these two then you will keep 18 okay so in case of less than you will keep large value in case of highest you will keep small value remember this trip forever so that you will never mistake the mistake Uh, never make the mistake in your exam okay so here we end up with our today's tutorial 
Keep watching Nuff classes. Please do subscribe and ring the bell with subscribe button to get notified as and when I upload my new video. You can join me on uh, my Facebook group that is Nuff classes, and we are arranging these type of tests. So try not to miss any tests. So here on the subscribe button and then click on Nuff classes. You will reach to my channel here. You can click on uh, bell icon so that you will get notified as and when I upload my new video. Now please do uploaded videos. You can click here on videos so you will get all videos here. If you click on playlist, you will get respective video you are searching for as per your interest.